Hi, my loves, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Rose 1111. I'm back with the truth, bringing the dark into light. This is a time is read. So when you're guided to it, there's truth, clarity, confirmation message you may be looking for. You may be also guided to my channel. It's my sole mission is here to wake you guys up to your higher self, higher conscious, and help you send to 5D. Please take what resonates and leave what does not fit for someone else. This is a collective reading, not a personal reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please go to the description box below. I do offer different kind of readings from true crime to general to twin flames. I also... um have uh holistic and metaphysical products in my etsy shop so please check that out 15 percent off free shipping and handling for the month of march i have a special going on 25 dollars and 25 cents for a 15 to 25 minute pre-recorded video if you're interested in that you can book through email or through the etsy shop i love you guys i do i really really do i love you guys so much you guys have helped me grow so much so thank you so so much for that thank you for the likes the shares subscribing commenting everything just thank you if you are new please hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell button to be notified if you would like to join the true seeking tribe please um click the profile picture and hit join it's 3.99 uh what i do offer out of my true seeking members only is one free question okay you get one free question per month from me okay i got new cards guys i got new cards um I did a, the first reading um, before on this. These are awesome cards. I was kind of afraid about getting them because they're kind of expensive, but they're well worth it. Okay, they're well worth it. I did see another reader have them, and I saw that she had them, and she um, they're they're just fit perfect for my channel, and I believe they fit perfect for my channel. And um, so yeah, you guys can check her out too, guys. Queen Just Be Twenty Three. I've watched her. I used to watch her a lot. She was one of the pe people I used to watch. Um, I don't watch her as much anymore because I do my own, but I did see her have these, and I had I, I had a I had to get them. I had to get them. They cost me almost hundred bucks, but they're well worth it. Cause look at if you look at them, there's actually two decks. Looks like okay. So there's two decks. They're very beautiful. They they're nice. So uh, we're gonna go into we're gonna dig into them. We'll do this one first. Um, it is hard to shuffle them because there's so many. So we'll do this one first, okay? I do speak fast. You do not like listening to our readers speaking fast. It may not be the channel for you, but there's other great readers that can deliver the message for you. Holy Spirit, angels, and this is the highest white light. What does the collective need to know right now? What do you want the collective to know? What's going on with the collective? As I said, I want to get a feel for these cards. So we're just going to kind of see what's going on with these cards here. There's too many. I try to shuffle them the first in the first hand. I try to shuffle them all at once. We're just going to shuffle um, half of them at once, okay? What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know here, Spirit? Thank you. And they fly right out. Christian. Somebody could be a Christian. Born again Christian, I'm hearing. Someone could be Christian. Or the name could be Christian as well, you guys. Christian could be Christian. Um, misunderstood. Okay, Christian. Somebody could be a Christian. Um, Christian um, religion could be a little bit misunderstood. Um, not sorry. It says sorry, not sorry. Confusion, clouds, misdirected, misinterpreted. So, um, okay. Christianity is misunderstood, okay? And also people want... Oh my gosh, really, Spirit? You want me to go, really go into this? Really? The Bible is analog. A Bible is analog. It's people telling the testimony, okay? We might not always think the Bible is right. Spirit wants me to say this. The Bible might not be always right. The churches may not always be right. You have to go with your gut. You have to follow your intuition. You have to follow what your higher self is telling you, what God is telling you, okay? And Chris, some Christians want to put it on people that you have to believe in the Bible. And if you don't abide by the Bible, you're not going to heaven, okay? You can still go to heaven even if you don't read the Bible. If you have a relationship with God and you have awoken, and you realize who you are and what's happening in this world, and you you have forgive yourself, and you love yourself and catch on other people, you do not have to be a Christian to go to heaven, okay? You do not have to be a Christian to go to heaven. People are misunderstood. Somebody sees you as misunderstood, misinterpreted, okay? Clouds, confusion. Um, a, I'm hearing Christian, a Christian, I'm here, okay. You could be very spiritual, or you're in the hero community, or really, or in like magic community i'm here in magic community to you okay magic community and they may um christians may be against you okay christianity is maybe against you the churches want us to be in the dark they don't want us to know that we can be very magical beings um and use it for good as well because magic can be used for good it can be used for bad as well which can be for good and bad it's misinterpreted okay somebody's misinterpreted I, i'm hearing christians are misinterpreting the spiritual community okay I'm sorry to say that, like, my husband now is a Christian, but still, they're still misinterpreting the uh, spiritual community and the tarot community and, the, uh, you know, the mysticism and the shamanism and stuff. They don't want them to waken up, but spirit wants to say that. Somebody could be attorney, lawyer, or lawsuit. There could be papers, justice being served, okay? Someone that is a Christian could be, um, 
having just a search them. Dang, spirit. Really? I cannot, like, really? Okay, what else, spirit? Like, um, spirit wants to say this. I am reading, okay, I'm reading the, I'm reading the Immersed Bible, okay? Messiah. My husband gave it to me, asked me to read it. I am reading it. I'm almost done. Do I, do I like everything in this Bible? He said, no, I don't. And I don't agree with everything. And I'm never going to agree with anything. It doesn't mean I'm going to go to heaven. I do not agree that we have to buy, we have to freaking bow down to men, okay? I do not believe that we have to fucking bow down to a man like the man does to a God. No. I think men and women should be equal. Equal. God above us, yes, God above us. But in here it says that women should, but women, married women should be bowing down to their man. No. I'm, I'm sorry, I do not believe that. I believe that we should be equal. It should be equal. We abide to God and that's only God. We do not have to abide by to our, the husband. We should be equal with the husband. That's my opinion, my perspective, okay? Everyone, someone else can have something different about that. Okay, I want to see this, I'll show you. Um... Wives should submit to their their own husbands as the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and himself, and the Savior. Is um, if it's in 5, 22, 30. Okay, I'm, I, I Google that because, you know what, that's where I do not agree. Like, there's things I do not agree in the Bible. Wives submit to your own husbands as the Lord. No, we both, wives and husbands should be balanced. That's what twin flames are supposed to be coming back into one balance, okay? That's what a lot of people, is, like, that's, yeah. Like, in there saying that we should, no. No, it should be equal. We should be equal. We should be equal. Coming into one. Man and woman should be equal. No one should be above one another. No one should be above one another. We should, God should be above us, but man and woman should not be above one another, okay? Misunderstood. What else, Spirit? I don't even know why you got me on this message, Spirit. I really do not want to do any of these messages. I really do not like doing the religion messages. I really not like, you guys, I don't like getting involved. Like... Somebody could be okay. That's why somebody could um, somebody could be more spiritual and they're Christian and like they're gonna have a there could be a, a argument. Okay, misunderstood from each other. Somebody could be more Christian. Somebody could be more spiritual. And this may butt heads. Okay, this may butt heads in a relationship. I'm hearing the West Western. Something about the West. The Western red light, yellow light, green light, go. I'm hearing the song. Um, push some sugar on me. Now put some sugar on me. Who sings that? Red light, ye red light, yellow light, green light, go. I used to love that song. Um. Def Leppard, pour some sugar on me, okay? Step inside, walk this way, you and me, baby, hey, hey, hey. Love is like a bomb, baby, come on, get it on. Living like a lo lover with a ra radar phone. Looking like a tramp, like a video vamp. De demolition woman, can I be your man? Razzling and dazzling and flash of light. Television lover, baby, go all night. Sometimes, anytime, sugar me sweet. Little Miss Innocent, sugar me, yeah, yeah. Now come on, take a bow, shake it up, break the bubble, break it up. Pour some sugar on me. Oh, in the same name of love, pour some sugar on me. Come on, fire me up. Pour your sugar on me. I can't get enough. I'm hot as dick, sticky and sweet from head to feet. Yeah. Listen, red light, yellow light, green light, go. Crazy little woman in one man's show. Mirror queen, mannequin, rhythm of light, sweet dreams. Saccharine, loosen up, loosen up. You got to squeeze a little a little okay so yeah like that see that's what i'm hearing i'm not very i'm tone deaf okay i i, I don't say i can't sing i'm unable to sing i i could i'm unable to sing that's not that's not my my passion that's not my um my gift okay i don't have gift of singing i don't have gift of voice like that breaking up happy homes chaos agent um or chaos agent home record this could be a home record okay someone could be breaking up homes um okay one more one more out of this deck Someone from the age of 30s and 40s could be breaking up, okay? Could be breaking up um, people in a home, home wrecker. I'm hearing a female actually doing being a home wrecker, okay? I'm hearing a female being a home wrecker. Could be a male too, but I'm hearing a female could be a home wrecker. Like coming in between relationships. They're fraud, okay? They're fraud. They're full of fraud. ID theft, money order, credit fraud, wire transfer, money laundering, and checks. 
they're going to be guilty. This person can be guilty of fraud. Okay, Christians are guilty of fraud as well. Oh, yep, see, Spirit, let me say that Christians are guilty as fraud as well as any other religion, okay? I'm going to tell you something. I am not Christian. I am not Buddhism. I am not Norse. I, I, I'm i I'm not anything. I, I believe in spirituality. I believe in reading everything and knowing everything and learning everything. And I, I'm just a very spiritual being, okay? I don't just settle down to one religion. If anything, it'd be more pagan, I guess. Someone wants help. But I guess I don't, I don't give myself title of what I am. I'm mystic. I, I'm a mystical being. That's what I am. I'm a mystical being. Ominous? What is ominous? I've heard that. Dude. Ominous is a respected belief in a religious with their gods or lack therefore. Those who hold this belief are called ominous. Someone sometimes written as ominous in recent years. The term being researched due to the interest of modern day self described ominous who have rediscovered and begin to redefine the term. So I don't get it. Okay, Buddha was not a Buddhist. Jesus was not a Christian. Mermaid was not a Muslim. They were teachers who teach love, love with all religion. That's, that's, yes, right there. Oh my gosh. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Ominism, the belief that no religion is truth, but that truth is found in them all. That's, okay, so that's what I'm saying. That's what I am. Spirit just told me. I didn't know that. That's what I am. Okay, so ominous. Somebody's an ominous. Okay. That religion right here is perfect thing. I gotta screenshot this. And actually, oops. Go back, 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 go back. That is like the perfect thing. Like, okay, I didn't know that. Um, ominous. Belief that no religion is the only truth, but that the truths are found in them. And a belief in a single transcendent purpose or cause until all things and people. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't really see. I just learned something new. See, like I said, I want to grow. You guys want to grow? And that's the thing is we're here to grow together. And ominous, this is what it looks like. Okay, so that's why they have the design of this stuff. It has all the religions. That's what I want to do with a tattoo. So they believe in all everything. It's all within us. Okay, it's us opening that gateway of spirituality. Open it up. Not one. Not the other. The tree. Look at another like a tree here. A tree of life. Like ominous. Okay. They tried to bury me. They didn't know I was a seed. You cannot kill me in a way that matters. Wow. So it's everything and anything. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, I just learned something new. I'm so stuck on this now. Oh my God, I'm going to be doing a lot of this, okay? I'm going to be reading about ominous because I did not know. Okay, so you could be an ominous just like me, okay? I hope that helps somebody. That helped me. That really helped me right now, you guys. Like, that really helped me. Ominous, okay, Oxford, okay, ominous, what they believe in. Um... All faiths or creeds, a person who believes in a single transcendent purpose or cause, uni uniting all things or people or members of a particular group of people. See, uniting all of it, that's what I, oh my gosh. What is an ominous person? One that believes in all religions. I do, I believe in all religions. I'm sorry, that's what I am and somebody else is too, okay? Okay, let's get some more. Ominous, okay, that came out. That wanted to come out really bad. Co-parenting, okay, there could be some co-parenting going on. Baby mama, baby daddy drama. Difference, differences, custody, cus, differences, custody agreements, and support. Co-parenting, you could be co-parenting with somebody. Um, inferior lifestyle, untrustworthy, low quality, fraud, knockoff, trash, cheap. Okay, there's other people. Fifty percent off, sellout. In inferior lifestyle, somebody's an untrustworthy, untrusty person. Person, okay. Low quality, the fraud, knockoff. Okay, they're selling knockoffs, knockoffs. Okay, if you do not want knockoffs, do you want the real original crystals, crystal bracelets? My shop is original crystal bracelets. They're not knockoffs. They're not glass. They're not made of resin. My crystals are all um, natural, okay, real authentic crystals, all organic um, oils and stuff, all organic, like real crystals in here as well, not knockoff, fake rocks. They're all real crystals, okay? Somebody is um, using cheap knockoff stuff, okay, working with knockoff stuff. Don't be doing that, okay? Their lifestyle is knockoffs. It's okay. Like, I, I used to buy really expensive clothes, too. Now I don't anymore. Okay? I do the 50% off. I do the easy stuff because why wear so expensive clothes when 
I'm not going out or anything like that. So it's good to be that way too. So somebody may just like also be like, they're not like, they don't like to like buy expensive stuff. They like to just have like where they're like the low brand stuff. Okay. So you can take it as it means what you, what you need to do with your, in your situation. Lease, apartment, vehicle, signature agreement. Somebody has a lease. Somebody took a lease out. Somebody has apartment. Taking a lease, signing agreement. Okay, there's some kind of agreement. You could come from the west to western too. So the west could be west coast. I'm here in California area. Okay, Oregon, um, Washington. Under surveillance. Okay, somebody's under surveillance. Sir, under surveillance. Warning. Um, someone is watching you every your every move. Something is being recorded. Keeping tabs on you. Spying. Okay. And look, it's all seeing eye. It's all seeing eye. Almost like that, the triangle. I'll see an eye. Keep an eye on you. Okay. You have people in high places and low places everywhere watching you, looking around. There's people lying. People that are watching could be part of a gang. Could be part of a gang. And we have fraud again. Fraud coming out, like I said, fraud. Money theft, okay, fraud. See, these are too hard to shuffle them all at once. Plans failed, not working out how, not working out how things were planned under construction, detour, okay, there's a detour. Things are not plan, planned out. So whoever's trying to hurt you or watching you try to take, like, cause problems in your life, freaking cause a lot of drama in your life too that's lying on you their plans failed okay they try to take you out somebody try to take you out i'm hearing individual efforts solo moves you could be doing okay you could be solo doing your own thing okay to doing your own thing you're not you don't need help from other people you're you have help from your your spirit guides your ancestors your angels you have help from them but not asking for help from other people gemini twin energy or uh, Gemini is also the light, light and dark balancing your, your light and dark knowing that you have a shadow side and you have a light side too a lot of people forget that they have a shadow side they think oh no I'm just loving light no we have a shadow side we have a light side we have angels within us and we have demons inside of us that's when you when you have awoken and you go to 5d you realize that you have the God inside of you and you have the devil inside of you okay you have the angels inside of you, you have the demons inside of you when you're helping people, you are an earth angel. You are a light worker. You're helping people. You are helping yourself, helping humanity. When you are um, out to get people, you're taking away free will. You're attacking people. You're lying to people. You have demons and the devil inside of you, okay? There's strangers coming against you. And Mason, Mason, Masons or Eastern stars coming against you. They're clout chasing. Okay, the cloud chasing, trying to show, trying to show you out, um, and shine on you, trying to, trying to show you out and shine on you in front of others. Okay, in front of others. These fucking cards are awesome. Cards are fucking awesome. Just they take me forever to do them though. I'm just playing with cards to use now. Which is mine. Cops are watching people's asses and gangs that could have been out there or watching other people. Cops could be watching your ass too, even if um you are the light worker. Um somebody could like to try to say that you're the bad one. The cops is watching somebody's ass, okay? I don't want to go. Strangers coming against you. So you have people that you don't even know that are coming against you. That are that have you under surveillance. Okay. You don't even know these people. Criminal minds. They think like a criminal mind. Hollywood could be involved.
they're doing black magic against you to keep you stuck, okay? They could be trying to do black magic to keep you stuck because, like, you have... So you have strangers are coming against you. They could be masons. They could be Eastern, um, Eastern stars are coming against you. They're under surveillance. They're watching you. Gangs are watching you um, because you're this ominous person. You're this ominous, ominous individual that you believe in all religions that is within you. And that's what they don't like. They don't like that you won't take one religion. Oh, my gosh. That just, I just had epiphany. That's why... They're against you because you will not, you do not stand down. You don't just take one religion. You, you don't believe in just Christianity. You don't just believe in Buddhism. You don't believe in just Muslimism, whatever. You are an ominous. You believe in all of it. It's within you. And that's what they're, that's why they're watching you, attacking you and seeing because you believe in all religions are within us. And they want these people, that, there's certain people, that's why they're watching you. You have certain groups of religion, religions and cultures watching you because they want you on their team. They want you to be in this one, just this one, believe in this one. I kept telling my husband I'm not Christian. He's like, yeah, you are. I'm like, I'm not a Christian. I'm not against Christianity. Not everything. I believe in Jesus Christ. But I, my, my belief about Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is I believe that he woken up. And I believe that he ascended to 5D and that he was trying to bring people with him. And he, that's why he's able to heal. When you go to 5D, you can heal people. You can heal people with a blink of an eye. I believe that he was, he was, he surrendered to God. He was God the whole time. He believed in God. And he was here to waken up the humanity. He was also married. People said, people said they went, he wasn't married, but he was. He was married to Mary Madeline. He was actually married to her. He actually had children with her. He was receiving messages from the higher realms, from extraterrestrials, from the star seeds, light workers. So yes, I do believe in him. I believe in that he believed in God and like that he was out here to help people. Authorities can be involved. Like I said, authorities can be involved. The law can be involved. And that's why he was traveling. He was traveling to go around and talk about God. He talked about God's word. Like having people know that God is there. If you love God, God and you trust God and you believe in God, then everything will be okay. You'll go to heaven. But then everyone else wanted to put their little testimonies in there wanted to say this and that. Like, I, like all those other things. And like, it's so what, you know, I don't know. I don't know why spirit got me on this one. Like, like I don't like to be the controversial person. I don't like to be the conspiracy person like that. I don't like to be talking about, like, all the religion and everything. But there's a reason spirit wanted me to put this message out there. There's a reason why. A lot of people can be confused of who they are. That's why spirit is telling me a lot of people are confused, especially when you're in the tarot community and you're watching tarot or the spiritual community. You're very confused of what you want or who you are or what religion you are. If you are, like, into, if you're reading a lot of religions and a lot of cultures and you're reading about, like, Norse mythology and, like, Christian, like, all the mythologies and, like, you believe in all of that, you're an ominous, okay? And that's, like I said, I just had epiphany. I'm an ominous. That's where I just found out. I, I thought maybe I was pagan, but no. I believe in all of it was within us, okay? ominous so that could be why i'm putting this message out somebody's very confused about their 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 culture their religion of who they are and that's why I read about ominous more i'm gonna read more about it too because you you are a starseed light worker starseed light workers when they awaken they realize that they're not just one culture religion they're not just christian christians okay they do believe in christ they believe in, and that's the thing is christ was christ consciousness okay when you awaken you go through christ consciousness when you go to 5d you go christ conscious you receive messages right from source Okay, you're receiving messages from the higher realms, but you have to unlock all your chakras and you have to believe in that you are capable of that and access that. If you do not, if you are not capable, if you do not believe in you're not capable of that, like, or if you do not believe that you can access that, it will not happen. If you don't get yourself unbalanced or unblocked from all this negativity and if you do not wake yourself or get, wake up, you will not be able to ascend. You will not go into Christ consciousness. You will be stuck in the matrix and living in like 3D and like the demons and stuff like that and lower vibrations. But you have to believe and you have to accept it too that you can um, actually step into that world. Okay, that multidimensional world, okay? Because we are multidimensional beings, but that's where people do not realize the multidimensional beings. I don't know where I'm going on this. I really do not know. I hope this does help somebody. You guys comment. Please comment. Hit the like button, you guys. If you guys agree on this or if you, any of you guys are confused, hit the like button, okay? Hit the like button if you guys are confused and let me know if you're confused and like about that because I was confused. Like to this day, till this moment, to, to this reading, I was so confused of who I was and what I believed in. Okay, I knew it's spiritual, and like I just said, I mainly was pagan, but I was not Christian, and I'm not Buddhism, and I'm not Norse, until I got this, this right here. And I just got this deck. This deck, like like I said, this deck is just like going to be beneficial to me and to you guys, and we're going to grow. And now I know I'm an ominous. And I can call myself an ominous. 
I'm not afraid to call myself an ominous. People may not like that, but I'm not afraid. And that's what they're trying to stop, okay? People are, you could be indigo child too, a rapid ascender, strong-willed, okay? Sense, very sensitive as well. Um, you want change, okay? You want change, it ripped. You want change in life, okay? Everything happens for a reason. I believe that. Even the good and bad, okay? It all happens for a reason. Trust your intuition. Spirit wants you to trust your intuition, okay? Trust in your intuition, okay? Somebody is sending evil eye at you. These, these people that are under heavy on surveillance, these cops, these authorities, these gangs or whoever, um, these Freemasons, these Easterns, these Christians, um, they are they have started sending evil eye at you because you... You did not want to become a Christian. You did not want to be a Buddhist. You did not want to be a Freemason, okay? They are sending evil at you because you, you didn't want to settle down to one. You are beautiful as an empress as well. You're beautiful as an empress, okay? Gangs. Yeah, I see. Look at gangs again. Authorities are involved, like I said. Even authorities are looking at you because, like, of who you are. I'm hearing you're the talk of the town. You could be the talk of the town or the community now. Because of stuff you talk about, you could be a conspiracist, to, conspiracy, I can't say it, conspiracist, conspiracy person, conspiracy person, and that's why you're the talk of the town, because like, you talk about conspiracy shit, and then your shit, you could talk about it, and then shit comes true about it, and again, you go ages 30 to 40, somebody's ages 30 to 40, but you are misunderstood, okay, these Christians see you as, that's it, Christians, Christians see you as misunderstood, they're confused about you, they're confused, okay, Mis just mister they're misdirected, okay, Christians don't want, like, I went to go see a church, church last week with my husband, and, um, one girl was telling me that if you talk about opening your third eye, you will go to hell, you're not a Christian, you can't be talking about that stuff, why can't we open our third eye, that's, I don't get that, if you are a Christian watching my channel, why can't you open your third eye, what's wrong about that? What's wrong about us all seeing? Why can't we see? Why? Why do they want to keep us closed? Tell me. I want somebody to tell me. Why does Christians say we cannot open our third eyes or we cannot um, do work with magic and, or do divination, okay? Work with divination. Why? Because they don't want us to see the truth. They don't want us to go up higher in level. Why? It doesn't mean we're better than God. It means God is opening the doorway for us. God is the one that opens the doorway for us. If our third eye opens up or we're willing to open that up, God is opening that up for us. Not man, God is. God is trying to wake us up. So you guys, in the comments, if you guys want, tell me, tell me why Christians say we cannot open our third eye or our crown chakra and we shouldn't be doing chakra work or we shouldn't be meditating even though in the Bible it does say that people meditate. But then at that church they told me we shouldn't be meditating, we shouldn't be doing any divination, witchcraft and stuff like that. Then why? Why is it there? Tell me, tell, please tell me. Comment, you guys, comment. Tell me why because... I do want people's opinions. I want people's perspective because, again, I want to learn. I want you guys to learn. I do want to hear people's perspective and stuff like that as well. Okay? I didn't think this was going to be that long. Dang. Look at some names. Solve case. You could have solved your own case. Like, solve something. Seventeen. Spirit says stop at seventeen. Yeah, you solved the case, or you're gonna be solving a case. Okay, that could be why they're watching you two eyes on you, because you would be um you solved the case, you solved somebody's case, you solved your own basketball, so we can play basketball. Tuscan. Karmic likes messing with married men. Karmic likes messing with married men. Didn't they say home record here? I really love these cards, you guys. Ominous. I'm still like oh, dang. When I saw this card too, I saw the yin yang and I'm like, okay, I saw all of it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I am. Because there's the Egyptian, Christian, Hinduism. Like, I see it all and I'm like, okay, that's why I feel like. Right here. Yeah, it came out. So here's a double confirmation. Breaking up happy homes, chaos, agent, homeworker. Right here, karmic likes to messing with married men, okay, or women. Right there. It could be ages 30 to 40. Lexi, dream of you in 5D. Raven, you can't go back. You have raised your vibration too high. 
You can't. See, that's the thing. You can, when you realize that you guys just talk one, one, one religion, you raise your vibration really high. You can't go back. You can't go back and stopping at one religion. Like, you can't. Like, you want to read more religions. You want to read more cultures. Like, I remember when I first started going to my spiritual awakening, I started reading about Egyptian. Then I wanted to read about Norse. And I was reading about Celtic. And I was reading about Christianity. And I was reading about Buddhism. And I was reading about all of it, you guys. And that's why I don't remember every little detail. I remember little bits and pieces. That's why I could write cards about it. But I wanted to keep learning and learning and learning. And that's the things I want to keep learning. I, I'm hearing that you guys want to keep learning. Montreal. Someone slept with your best... Or... Someone slept with your brother or sister. I was going to say best friend. But it says someone slept with your brother or sister. Montreal. Afghanistan. Secret Service. City on fire. So somebody's city on fire. Okay. Lake City. Carmi. Devon or Devon. Jason. Elgin. Anthony, been stuck on karmic partner, may be in jail, or, um, okay, karmic partner could also be, like, a karmic, when I wrote this, it could be stuck in jail, like, a karmic partner could be, like, being stuck in jail, okay, I hope you guys may understand, like, so you could be stuck on, like, an individual, a person, like, a karmic person, or you could be stuck on, like, a karmic, like, you're stuck on a karmic, which you're a, a cycle of karmic, like, being in jail, okay, physical jail, in prison, in a mental hospital, okay, that is karmic situation, karmic is anything that is low, Low vibration, okay? Anything that is a lesson to be learned. When you go to jail, that's a lesson to be learned. When you go to prison, it's a lesson to be learned. When you go to a mental hospital, it's a lesson to be learned. So you can be stuck on that too. That's why I wrote this. It's not just an individual person or place. It is a situation as well. So someone could be stuck in jail or prison or... And this is not phys or mentally. This is physically. Someone is stuck in, like, stuck in jail, prison, or like in a hospital or a mental hospital, okay? And they can't get out. Okay, they can't get out right now. They're learning the lesson. A karmic is supposed to be learning the lessons, you guys. Space. Space. Okay, somebody may go into space. Somebody about space. Ashen right there. Okay, so something about space and ashen. Um, Scooby-Doo. Somebody could be Scooby-Doo energy. Um, I'm here like Scooby-Doo energy right now. I'm also here like Scooby-Doo, but I'm here like the dog, but I'm also here like a mystery machine. Okay, like something that might be something about like mystery. Like you could have like a little mystery group together like that. That's why I'm getting that energy. Something about a mystery group. Okay. Rome. Laz Lazar. Lazar, Lazar, mother, there's a mother, Denver Airport, Nickelodeon, Denny's, Firebird, someone going to drive a Firebird, Bella, Sophie, Lavender, okay, Lavender, and uh, Vatican um, Illuminati, okay, Vatican is part of the Illuminati, okay, Dark Illuminati, they're part of the higher part of the the Illuminati, okay, Vatican is evil and dark, and that's, the, okay, so where what was I in here too? They could be the ones that are watching you, too. They could be the ones watching you as well, okay? Keeping tabs on you. Something being recorded, okay? The Vatican could be keeping the, uh, tabs on you, too, okay? Catholics can be keep, keeping tabs on you. They're lying. Very, okay? Because, like, yeah. Vatican, Masons, Eastern Star. Strangers coming against you. So these, pe these people part of the Vatican can be strangers coming against you. Because you're ominous, and because you don't just believe in Catholic, you don't believe in just Christianity, you don't, you know what I mean? Like, you don't believe in just that. Somebody can be, like I said, a lawyer. Law, law, lawyer, attorney, lawsuit. Attorney and lawyer, I guess, is different. I don't know the di Let me see. I, like, I, someone told me, like, someone's like, no, it's the same, it's not. It's actually, it's different. What's the difference between attorney and a lawyer? All attorneys are lo also lawyers, okay? All attorneys are lawyers. So if this person's an attorney, they're also a lawyer. But not all lawyers are attorneys, okay? An attorney is a lawyer who passed the state bar exam, allowing them to practice law in their ju jurisdiction. Okay, attorneys can represent clients in court and other legal proceedings, while lawyers cannot. Huh? So a lawyer cannot? Attorneys represent clients in court and other legal proceedings, while lawyers cannot. Remember that all attorneys are not lawyers, but not all lawyers are attorneys. Remember, all attorneys are lawyers, but not all lawyers are attorneys. An attorney is someone who is not only trained and educated in law, but also practices in court. A basic definition of an attorney is someone who acts. The major difference is can represent clients in court, other legal proceedings, while lawyers cannot. 
You guys leave me comments, comment, because I'm so confused by that. If you guys know what a lawyer and an attorney is different, I'm so confused. I know attorneys can go to court, but wait, when I when I hired a lawyer, wasn't that a lawyer? Isn't that the one that would represent me in court? Advise and represent clients in court before government agencies and private legal matters. Communicate with their clients, colleagues, judges, and other involved cases. Connect with research and analyze legal problems, interpret laws, rulings. Guys, I'm so confused by that. I really still am. Medi medi mediating? Okay, I'm gonna end that. I don't know. You guys know the difference, okay? Okay, let's close this out. Because I don't even know where I went now. Let's just close this out. Father of the sky, God, I release the weight of the world from my, off my shoulders. See, yeah, God. Okay. Husband and wife should be equal, but we should not be above God. God is there. Ask God to um, take care of problems and stuff like that. Okay, we surrender to God. I release the weight of the world off from my shoulders. Father God. Okay. Get some Labradorite. We'll protect you in spirit quartz, okay? Labradorite. I do have Labradorite in my shop, you guys. My Labradorite right here. It's very pretty. Uh, it's a grayish purple. It's grayish. Very simple. It has like grays and blues and purples in it. I do have Labradorite in my shop, so please check that out. A blue lotus. Okay, you're a blue lotus. And someone maybe on ayahuasca too. Blue lotus. I am open to the teachings of the divine. Okay, so yeah, with a stunning blue and purple petals, the blue lotus looks like a watercolor painting come to life. Often when connecting to the energetic center, similar colors will be used to help in that practice as blue and purple would in insinuate. The blue lotus has a strong attachment to the upper chakra energy centers. That's why it's coming out of blue lotus, okay? You have divine energy. Energy flows through you. This flower invites you to open and activate your pineal gland to the realms beyond the 3D world. Expand your mind and reach beyond its grasp. You now you know that there is so much more to life and uh, our world than meets the eye. Take time to explore yourself as a creator being as conscious as embodied. Spend time Focus on the soul connecting practice that all call to you. They may be simple as meditation or breath work or something unique that feels perfect for you. Embrace the truth that is possible to be fully aware. Awaken and enlightening. Trust your intuition and your power. Journal what spiritual practice have been curious about today. That's why, okay, Jesus is coming back for his wife, his bride, the high priestess, okay? The high priestess coming back into the church and Opening people's minds up, the truth, the, opening their minds up, rebirth as they, and, okay, the difference between the cross and the ankh, okay, the cross of Christianity is a masculine energy, okay, it's all masculine, it's about death and resurrection, okay, then you have the female ankh, the ankh is about rebirth, transformation, unity, oneness, okay, rebirth. Okay, rebirth. And that's what we're supposed to be coming back into, bringing, like, the Father God. Like, that's how I said equal. It's been always man, 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 always man, divine masculine energy, action, do, control. And the divine feminine is coming back in. The high priest is coming back in. Jesus is coming back for his wife, his bride, the high priestess, the female. And a lot of Christian Christians, okay, that are so-called so -called Christians or Buddhisms or all these cultures, religions and stuff, are going to awaken and go into 5d consciousness that are gonna start seeing that they are ominous okay more people are gonna become ominous that's what is gonna be happening more people are gonna be more ominous okay coming out saying they're ominous because they're awakening to higher realms dimensions okay multi-dimensional well that was just a po this is a powerful message here you guys it's a powerful message and i know i hope spirit actually pushes this message out i hope a lot of like you guys i hope you guys like this i hope you share this because it's gonna be a powerful message here because so many people are so close-minded 
and bringing back um jesus coming back for his bride is his wife the high priestess okay bringing the high, high priestess back into the church bringing back into the divination and stuff like that of the high priestess okay of somebody that is higher aware uh, christ conscious okay I hope that makes sense to every, people, okay? I really do. Because you're the blue lotus. You want you you have energy just flowing through you. More and more energy just coming to you. You're that one with intuition, wisdom, knowledge, secret knowledge. You are the keeper of the keys, okay? You have so much knowledge information coming to you. And that's what the churches need. Church the churches need a high priestess. The churches need the female coming in, being the spiritual person, and not believing just one religion, believing that we can have Christ conscious. We go into a higher dimension, into 5D. That's what the churches are missing. That's what the churches are lacking. The churches are lacking the female, the, the, the divine feminine energy, the balance. They're lacking with them saying, I'm sorry, this is this getting perspective. You guys might not like this, but they are lacking right here where I read this Bible. Well, a woman should uh, submit to a man. That's what this lacking. That's what's been wrong about these days. The day of the world, this world is women should be la or submitting. No, man and woman should submit to God and only God. Man and woman should be equal. That's why the twin flames are coming into balance. They're coming into balance. Twin flames are coming into balance to balance each other out. To be balanced. Okay? The man and the woman. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Jesus coming back for his bride. His, div his divine feminine. That has woken. I hope you guys... I hope someone makes it laugh. Angel number. <sighs> Dang. Not everyone will understand this message either. Share this, you guys. Share this. Share this message, you guys. Share it. Huh. 13. When I said it, I took 13. 13 is that feminine energy. Right there's saying feminine energy. Spread message of love. Endings. Rebirth. That feminine energy. God is not male. God is not female. God is source. God is just energy. It is not man. It is not woman. Forty-three, ready to embrace change and growth in your life, spiritual expansion, peace, love, happiness, and safety and stability. And look at right here, reset for everybody. Zero zero zero, reset, new start, fresh start. Zero zero zero, new beginnings. Be bold with decisions. It will pay off. At the start of a new journey. We are all going to be paying out. Like new set. Reset. Earth is in a reset. We are in a reset you guys. Libra. Justice. Justice being served right now. Sagittarius. Adventurous. Fire. Passionate. Okay. Determined as well. Um, Leo. Fire again. Twelve. 12. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, healing. Namaste.